So to summarize our lecture on requirements management, it is something that often is required in complex projects where requirements needs to be managed and also the, all the additional information around this. This is not something that has a high priority for a two-person project, but rather for larger projects with many stakeholders. So you're not only managing the requirements, but also all the other related informations that we talked about in the previous slides. Um, another important part of requirements management is the change management process because requirements can change throughout the project. Changes need to be structured and processed, otherwise it gets really, really messy. The change management defines how change requests are handled and you have a change control board which evaluates, approves and rejects changes and tells you how to handle changes. The handling of change requests requires a process on its own and we gave you an example process that you can use as a general structure for your own projects.